Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the sign of Capricorn for June 2021. So before I begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone who may be um, returning to my channel for this month, it's Angel Readings, and for anyone who's new to my channel, and joining our Angel School community for the very first time. So I'd just like to uh, bring to your attention that I've been offering my half-hour angel reading of $77 for um, one full hour as a special offer since the pandem pandemic has begun, and um, it will be available for this month as well. <clears throat> so you can get that half-hour reading normally for... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get it for a half hour uh, normally, which is now one hour, one full hour during the pandemic and during this month of June. So you would go to my webpage, theangelschool.com, um, on the services page, and the link is below this video for that in the description box. And when you get to my webpage, you would just select the half hour reading as is. And then you would, um, in 24 hours, I would send you a confirmation email that will note the special offer uh, for the month of June. Within that email, you all of our correspondences will take place, especially to help you set up your angel reading. And I will indicate to you the starting date where I have availability and I usually ask that um, you give me three weeks out um, so that I can schedule um, your appointment. Um, so all the instructions are right there and anything else you need to know as well. Just be aware that there are no restrictions or limitations, meaning if you've had a reading with this special offer before, you are welcome to do so again. All right, so before we begin, I'd just like to just outline for those you're new, the format of our reading. So the card on the left is from the Major Arcana. It will be a message from your the Archangel that you'll be working with this month. And it, the Major Arcana uh, deals with the big things, big lessons, energies or influences that are um, taking place in a this period of your life, okay? And the card on the right is from the Minor Arcana, a message from your guardian angel, and it highlights um, how the interactions and the day-to-day -day interactions um, in ways that it shows possibly how these big things, lessons, and energies, influences are moving in your life and interacting with you, and how you might, um, might give you insights as well as how you might um, manage that. So just be aware of that as you're listening to your own guidance, as you're listening to the reading. So let's take a deep breath together, Capricorn, and just really breathe deep into your heart space. Now, as you're doing this, I also want you to be aware that your crown chakra is expanding. So first connect in with your heart. And just feel that light emanating from within and surrounding you with so much love. And then allow this connection to your heart and your mind. Just see the thousand petaled crown chakra opening up like a beautiful lotus flower with a thousand petals. And it's shining like a beautiful pale yellow sun in the fifth dimensional chakra. And just radiating so much joy and expansion for you. So I'm seeing a little sewing machine, which is interesting. And um, it just really sort of 
she gets a sense of something weaving into your thoughts um, that you're going to just have some kind of creativity or ideas that are going to be weaving into your thoughts and into your plans. And um, I don't know why they wrote the word poetry. Maybe some of you, um, and they wrote the word power. So the, the sense is that you're coming into your power, your gifts uh, are coming into power in a very extraordinary way. Um, and for some of you, it could be um, something to do with writing. The Archangel Nathaniel is coming in, whose name means the gifts of God. And that's indicating gifts are expanding. And there, be aware of what's coming into your thoughts and to trust, have faith in writing and your creativity and your thoughts and your ideas is the divine guidance for you. And you might have a strong sense of knowing. They also write that they want you to um, make sure you don't push yourself, but to just notice and follow. So don't be afraid to, to rest. Now the angel number that I just saw, uh, it's actually 67. The angel's number 67 says, well done. You're on the right path at home and at work. Okay. So if you've been trying to balance um, things at home and at work, just know that you're on the right path. That um, to keep moving forward with your plans and your ideas, you know, you may not see the results just yet, but you're on the right path. And that's what's important for you to know in order for those results, that, that those outcomes to continue, to show up rather. And so they just wrote the word investment. So they really want you to um, really invest, continue to pour yourself into this investment because it's really going to pay off. And all you have to do is pay attention to the messages that are coming through and trust that you're capable and that you're responsible. You, you, that means don't focus on whether you're going to do the right thing or not. Know that you're innately responsible and that all you have to do is show up. Follow the guidance, show up, and you will be responsible. You'll do the right thing. You'll know what the right thing is. That clear cognizance coming from the, the, through the crown chakra, you'll know what the right thing to do is. Now, Archangel Jophiel works with this fifth dimensional chakra. She's the Archangel of Wisdom. Um, <clears throat> her name means the beauty of God. So you, she will touch you with that wisdom, that innate wisdom that you need. So just trust, have faith in yourself and the Archangels. All right, let's take a look at the card for this reading and the Archangel that you'll be working with. And it's Archangel Ariel, okay? And so Archangel Ariel, <clears throat> whose name means the Lioness of God. So she works with the material um, plane in terms of prosperity and abundance. Um, is also a healer of the animals. And she's writing out the word support. So, you know, just had this actually come up in a, in a reading. Um, so I won't try to remember what was said there, but we'll just see what unfolds here. But there's just a beautiful new interpretation of this, but it probably will not come to me. But let's just go on with it. But the idea here is following the, the, the instincts. You know, we have here the... And all the cards will show some type of balance or is about balance. And some of the cards show how that balance gets off and that we need and how we need to recalibrate uh, so that we can achieve that balance. And here we see this animal and an angel. So that has those represented our human qualities of uh, enlightenment, intelligence, right? Um, civility. Um, and here we have this primal instinct in the animal. Our instincts, our impulses, raw, right? Raw energies. And one of the things that happens is that we tend to suppress that. We tend to um, <clears throat> not allow it enough. 
And so we, we have all this refinement and we kind of sort of want to toss out the, the raw, primal, um, sort of what we might see as being vulgar and crass. But we have to embrace these things, our instincts. And is it, it's like if our instincts, intuition, insights, we have to embrace them, not suppress them. And so in, in a way, there's that balance that we, that we need to strike here with that. And there may be, in some ways, that because there is an imbalance where one is cultivated and the other is not, the other is disregarded or, um, yeah, disregarded or, or disallowed, um, that we become sort of this, it makes us sort of like a, a creates a, a disability within us, right? It disables our full, the full strength of our powers, our spiritual powers. And so we're, pay attention to, you know, where are you, because the, the, the instincts and pulses, this is where our creativity is drawn from. You know, this is, this is the energy that, that just helps to propel us forward. When new ideas come in, we're running on all of this raw data. We're working with all this instinctual, you know, gifts. This is where our gifts come from, right? The other aspect of us is how we refine it and apply it over time and we try to implement it and, and fit it into something that is specific that we want to do. But that comes when we're ready to, you know, start working with our plans and make it more concrete. Right now, you need that raw data. You need that, that, you know, just go with your instincts, your impulses, and follow that. And and both are value, equally valuable. And it's essential to your being able to be in alignment and to discern what that alignment is. That balance, that harmony, coming back to, so one of the things, this is the theme for the month um, that they gave me additionally when they, they wrote June and then Libra. And so the two words that came up for me was balance and harmony. And they talked about this, you know, 360 degree sort of point of view, perspective or this panoramic view. So that we don't make assumptions that we, we gather all of the data. We, so the thing is, is that, for you, <clears throat> Capricorn, it's about, you know, this full perspective of yourself, of all of your gifts and your, you know, instincts, your logic, all of it together, really a, like a bringing it all in before just pouncing on an idea and dismissing it or discrediting it. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the message from the your guardian angel. Okay, so we have the five of earth, the five of pentacles. So this is saying here, um, you know, <clears throat> that you have, you know, this is Archangel Sandalphone, and um, the key that is related to in the major arcana is the um, hierophant. So what this is giving us a sense of is that, you know, not reaching outside of your norm, right? Reaching out for help, um, assistance. And this is tapping into your gifts, that unknown realm, that, that those, the, the realm of possibilities outside of your normal day-to-day -day expectations um, or the ways you cultivate yourself, right? Traditions like the Hierophant speaks of that. And that the that you may need to try a different approach and be open to other people's approach. So, you know, you know, you can kind of tend to be a little um very dedicated, but at the flip side you could maybe tendency to be a little stubborn, right? Um, so like Capricorn. So um what you want to do is really be a lot more flexible. Let yourself be vulnerable. Explore their writing. They wrote in bold letters. Explore. You're on the right path, but keep exploring on that path. Don't make up your mind and narrow your vision. Because that's going to make you feel cut off. And that's when you're going to start to maybe doubt for some 
an unknown reason. So there's a lot to embrace, to appreciate, um, to be grateful for. And this is about really, we know that you're very, um, you know, you're confident in terms of matters that deal with, you know, finances and home and that that sort, but you're, you're in your element. But there's something that might cause you to maybe disconnect. And you might want to do this on your own kind of thing because, you know, you could say, I could do it faster, quicker, better by myself. And what is really needed is... Yeah, you could, but that's not the lesson here. It's about embracing support from others and bringing them in and also giving them the privilege to see, to learn from you. And by doing so now you would have, you would have a, a support, a team of support that is equal to your own abilities. So you, you limit yourself. You know, this card speaks about limitation, the five of, of um, pentacles. You limit yourself when you don't um, allow others to support you or to learn from you and to be brought up to the level that, of achievement that um, you're capable of extraordinarily, which is not always normal for everybody else, right? Okay. Let me just see. I'm just checking. They, they're writing more things. Um, so, so it's the word taking and then occupation. So you take your op occupation very seriously. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, they wrote the word manifestation. And right now, you are manifesting through your ability to um, really connect in to the network of oneness, the universe. You know, this support I lesson is teaching you to work more in support with the universe. So you can really bring through the, the things, your dreams and desires and goals more efficiently. And I don't know, they're writing the word probably. Um, so as a prompt, I mean, you're probably thinking, well, you know, you're you're already feeling like you're connected and, you know, and still don't need <laughs> to consider this. But they're writing the word pleasure. And there's a pleasure that you get when you don't put everything on your shoulders. They wrote the word everything. When you don't put everything on your shoulders, that's just a pleasure that that you're not allowing by not sharing and the and exchanging your gifts with others. All right, that's all I'm going to say about this. Just don't shut off those other aspects of yourself. Don't worry about things not being perfect and things being a little messy when you do this. Because again, you're going to discover other things. You're going to discover other things you weren't aware of or You'll see other gifts and talents that are around you that could really support you, that you can really utilize to your advantage for the goal that everybody is working towards. They're not, you, they're not replacing you. You're not replacing yourself by allowing others to step in. All right. So I'm going to stop it there. And I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And have a beautiful month of June. Capricorn. God bless you.